Good evening and welcome back to the crust where we're still waiting for things to be built because well it's taking forever but that's fine um I think the issue is that we don't have enough smart concrete so why don't we buy some smart concrete in let's do that let's buy some smart concrete we go to the center the command center the um contract center go to smart concrete and let's buy something so if we fix it so um obviously I've just loaded the game so we have no data for previous stuff here so uh doesn't test the price of things but if, if we were to buy a full standard cargo pod it's only gonna cost us 15,000 that's 300 smart concrete we we can we can deal with 300 smart concrete let's do that Boom. cargo pod would you land that there awesome get 300 smart concrete that'd be great how are we doing for technologies we've got the component factory running solar panel is running um really really want to get this done i'm gonna i'm gonna adjust some things i'm gonna move this up to there um because I really want to get salvage done because we want to get salvage done so that we can clear out the um this all in here because I can't build on top of these so I need to clear them out and I kind of want to run my solar maybe down and put it down here somewhere and run a power line up to it I'm, I'm thinking about doing that just run the power line down here and around the research post oh. there is a level platform in several small buildings wheel tracks are leading away from it in different directions Inside the structure is disarray. Items are scattered, lockers are open and emptied, emergency crates are opened and emptied. In some rooms, there is a large amount of research equipment and materials. There are no people to be seen. They clearly left the outpost in a hurry. Okay, so it's an abandoned outpost. We can either get scientific data from the computers or salvage the machines. I'm gonna salvage the machines. Um, I feel like the resources are more useful to us right now then the research these so days we can use all the resources we can get director send the drones to the outpost and have them gather whatever they can okay and we need to send two drones to it and we can pick up aluminium microcircuits microprocess and control units control units are expensive we could sell them for lots of money so <clears throat> let's go and set best to get the private lab that'd be fine However, we cannot send the rover to do this, I've just realized, because we need to send robots. To send the robots to it. The Corporation is requesting a shipment of silicon for the continued production of construction materials. You can find out more at the control center. Okay. Uh, to do that, um, we need to build an expedition uh, control center. Let's add it to the list. Boom, there you go. Awesome. Okay, uh, we also have a component factory. Let's build ourselves a component factory. Um, I want to build one of these. Uh, I'm going to put it. Uh, we'll put it there uh, we could run belts into it I'm not going to for the moment uh, because we want um, oh, those power poles off. Uh, we want the steel and things to be inside uh, the, the machine so our bots can pick it up and use it in places so yeah. and then the, the, they, they will take the steel and fill it up with steel and then they'll take the silicon they'll, if you don't have belts going into a machine they will manually feed it you can change the, the settings in the drone maintenance Director, we've temporarily oh. stabilized the Hope 2 station which was damaged during the meteorite impact the station's orbit height continues to decline and the closer it gets to the moon the harder it becomes to transmit messages from our control point we've sent you the coordinates of the cargo terminal which we use to communicate with orbital stations. You'll need to see what condition the terminal is in. Contact Hope 2 and get navigation data for the expedition to the site of the meteorite impact. Send the rover and continue preparing for the expedition. Expect technology for building life support systems soon. Awesome. All right, we need to get in touch with Hope 2 and prepare to receive the expedition operators. Well, Crust never gives us a simple task. Awesome. Okay, so, um, so yeah, um, you can change where the drones can deliver things in here or pick up from machines from this. If you plug belts into it, these automatically get switched off and on and, and things depending on the belts that go in. So if we put belts into there, the inputs will be turned off. If we get belts out, then the output will be turned off. Speaking of which, I would like to actually change these boxes we have to be available. The input got turned off because we have a belt going into them. 
Um, so yeah, I think if you have a belt going out, it doesn't turn off the uh, pickup. I don't think so. I think that's always enabled. So, um, but I want to do that just in case there's stuff on the moon. Like for instance, when we salvage these things, there's some silicon. These got steel and smart concrete and things. So I like to put them in the boxes just so we've got them tidied here. Power is a problem for us, like a serious problem. We don't have enough power. Like we've got 136 uh, maximum power and we have 80 capacity. Um, I would like to go down the fundamental tree and get to here, get the large battery done, but that's going to require a lot of fundamental science. So we need more fundamental science. Conveniently, we are sending our rover over to a lab right now. So we'll have a look. See if that's the place I think it is. We'll see that. So, oh, we can unload the cargo. Let's unload the cargo. Uh, rover can come and drop the cargo off that it has inside it just on the floor that's fine um that'll work beautifully well um doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah many things shut down because we just don't have the power to run because we simply don't have the power to run everything it's a problem okay um what about this this is doing okay for iron oxide you're so you're producing 11.9 a minute and you are using nine a minute so you're slightly overfilling but it's not enough to overfill too much. So we don't have a contract as well. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this one here. So do you want 45 silicon? Uh, no time limit. We have 113 silicon. We'll boff, send. Away you go. Awesome. So we've got that done. Let's do this one next. Um, throw that up to there. I want to get salvaging. I really want to get salvaging done even before the, the uh, exhibition center. But I still want to leave the medium solar panel running because... We need more power. We need more power. So, um, okay. So, something else I want to explain: the components factory. Uh, many factories in the game. Many of these production factories here. Pretty much all of them, with the exception of the pressing module and the smart concrete factory, can have uh, people inside them. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. The rolling mill as well. So. Uh, pressing the smelting the rolling mill and the smart concrete doesn't and then the components microcircuit carbon fiber fuel factory module terminals assembler and high-tech factory all can have people inside them they all have working places now it's not a oh, fuel doesn't fuel doesn't require it sorry um it's not a requirement for the building to run the building can run autonomously doesn't need people inside it however it doesn't have people inside it its efficiency is really bad so if it doesn't have any colonists working it its efficiency is down to 15 percent right now it's zero because the power's dead but um, it will be 15 percent and that's the fastest it can ever go is 15 percent there are upgrades you can get for the machine which upgrade it but flat rate 15 percent if you get colonists in here that have engineering they can increase its efficiency stupid far like um i think a, a top rate engineer can you can get to like 300 400 percent efficiency it's, it's, it's madness it goes up there however this here i think is a little misleading but Free easy enough to correct. understand the funds have already been deposited into our account Fish. at this rate we'll soon recoup our expedition and start making a profit oh, of course we didn't have more pressing issues for which the dispatch resources would be useful but no director we didn't miss out on short-term game. Okay, so um, we have another new contract. We'll do that in a moment. Um, so um, yeah, so this um, this here, it says it takes 12 steel, nine titanium, and produces three components, and it says in one minute. That's true. That's what it does if it was 100% efficiency. Obviously, 15% efficiency, it means it's actually gonna take seven minutes to do it, just under. However, this here is the cycle, each cycle that goes around. Each cycle is not this number here. Each cycle is a single item of what it's producing. So for the component factory, it's components. This will go around, finish, and it will produce one component, not three. But it doesn't take 12 and nine, it will take three and four and produce one. And in one minute, it can do three cycles. So when you look at some of your machines and, and you think, well, this is going around but it's going around at the wrong speed. You know, it's like, hang on a minute. Why is this going around like, this is going around way faster than in one minute. No, that's because this will produce one steel. We see it just produced one steel. One steel comes out and goes in the box, not three. So it takes three oxide to produce one steel in one cycle, and it can do three cycles in one minute. So this spinny thing here is a little misleading, but generally you work on everything off of a minute anyway. A day, a lunar day, 
um well lunar day is is 14 earth days so it's, it's, it's earth days is one minute 20 seconds for reasons i don't know why they put everything in here by based on minutes and then the day is not a minute long don't know why they did that but they did so okay fair enough um so yeah so that's that's missing there so in order to get this to actually run at producing three a minute you'd have to build seven of these if you didn't have any colonists that's entirely doable you could build seven of them you could feed the stuff into them wouldn't be a problem it's you know quite easy doable however that's seven times 30 power and seven times two cpus so 210 power and 14 cpu yeah um colonists are generally easier um especially now they've been updated so they don't uh they don't die as often from from asphyxiation because they used to die from nulction very quickly but that's been fixed uh, you can have component factories or any factory outside and your component your colonists will come out of their uh, habitat and into the thing to work and then go home again when they run out of oxygen or whatever so it's fine the exception to that is the um, carbon fiber factory must be indoors and the reason it must be indoors is because it requires water and water can only be transmitted via an indoor system like the floor has piping in it or something i don't know but yeah, so so that must be indoors all the rest can be outside however if you choose to put these all in indoors you can then have the whole place full of oxygen so you don't have to worry about your colonists running out of oxygen also you only need one power point to run a indoor room we haven't got indoors done yet so i can't try it but you only need one power point to run it and for running you have enough power in the base it runs all the machines inside there outside you need power poles to connect each one there power poles not expensive so it doesn't really matter it's a to no point but but um the people that see me play i've tend to put loads of machines inside buildings i'm not gonna do it this time if we do have colonists when we have colonists i'm gonna have a small building um with the colonists living inside it with the um carbon fiber next to it and then all these buildings outside so we'll, we'll go down that route there so okay okay we have a new contract available what is this one here so um this one is uh 80 steel we don't have enough steel that's fine. Send 80 steel. Let's buy some steel. Steel is not going to be expensive. Um, it's it's a little weird. Uh, so it's 17,000 to buy 300. We'll, we'll buy 300. Um, obviously, the moon got smashed and everyone's calling out for resources, but we can still buy in stuff very easily. It's it's a little weird. Um, it's like, hang on a minute. We're, we're supposed to be the ones providing all the things, but we buy stuff in and it, it's a game thing so but yeah uh, okay speed up time Boom. you'll grab the steel there we can always do with some more steel and smart concrete anyway that's always useful Ooh, we got some tinning plates there it's always useful to have uh, you'll deliver that send the contract off away you go happy days happy happy days okay so we need this here so we are now wasting our um social science so let's turn off this and turn back on that one i suppose no, not social. We are wasting engineering. Let's get a rolling mill. Go on, get a rolling mill. Go. Aha, okay. So our, our rover has got to the private lab. The private lab, basically, you can buy science. It's the way to do it. So um, if you wanted to buy it, we do want to buy some fundamental. We are struggling for fundamental science. So let's buy some fundamental. And you can see here, we can either do 60 for 90 days, 100 for 90 days, 200 for 90 days, or 400 for 20 days. So this is actually a good deal. Um, this this four hundred for twenty days. Um, uh, because it's twice this, which is a hundred thousand. Um, so uh, four hundred times uh, twenty is eight thousand science. Well, obviously two hundred times ninety is eighteen thousand science. So it, it, this is this is the best deal here. Um, well, well, these two are exactly the same actually. Um, but this is nice if you want to get something like done, like you need it now. It's like, oh God, I need that for a mission or something. You can go to the science lab. You can go, give me 400 science, give you a big boost. Generally, I'm going to go for the 100 for 90 days um, because that's a good middle one here. So just just a um, uh, 60 times 90, that's 5,400 um, that gives you um, uh, for 30,000. Divide that by 30,000 and that's 0 0.18 science. Uh, the next one is um, 9,000 science um, uh, divided by 50,000 um, is also 0 0.18, so that's the same price. That's the same price. Okay, so they're all the same price. And that one's just a bigger hit, but slower. So, okay. 
guess that's balanced better than I thought it was. We're going to go for the middle one anyway. Let's do that. Let's confirm. We've spent 50 grand. Boom. We've got some money. That's fine. We get a bonus to our um, thing. So for 90 days, we get plus 100. So that will keep our fundamental going a little bit higher. We get loads of engineering from the missions and stuff. It's kind of They kind of throw engineering at you and you don't need... Director, there's news. Oh. In short, I've signed an agreement to complete several contracts on our behalf. There was a frenzy on the market, and I couldn't delay. Competitors are ready to restart production on Earth, or sell off their remaining reserves for such prices. But I beat them to it, and pledged to deliver the resources. Now, it's your turn to show that we're indispensable partners, and reliable suppliers. You'll find the accepted contract under the Active tab. This is the point where Ledger becomes a bit annoying, because um, he starts taking contracts for you without asking like they don't pop up and go are you sure you want this contract they, they sort of do they pop up as emergency ones but um uh some of the stuff that he signs and goes yes you can do this is stuff that you can't really have yet so you need to sort of buy it in so and some of the deals are terrible like like really bad Director, let's see i see them in the database as accepted mr ledger has outdone himself uh oh this is not just unprofessional, but also extremely irresponsible. How about notifying before signing rather than after? My job is to secure the most lucrative contracts for the company, Ms. Vance. And if a few small deliveries are too challenging for us, we have no business being in the market. Director, I'll deal with Ledger later. Try to focus on active contracts. It's very important to ensure these deliveries are on time. Yes, so this is this is the point here. So, okay, deliveries on time. These contracts are timed contracts. So in 99 days, um, they want this here. And this one's um, uh, obviously, uh, if you do it afterwards, it times out. Some of them are timed and you can fail them. So you need to be careful of it. Uh, we do have enough silicon and smart concrete to complete the first one. So let's do that. Okay. Whilst that's doing the thing there, let's go to the moon and let's take our rover and let's go and do the cargo terminal. This is the thing that Christ wants us to do. It's night time, so it can't do anything. Uh, you might as well come back to the base for a minute because you can't do anything out there. Um, should put you here. There you are. Boom. Would you do me a favor and just drive up here somewhere so I know you exist? So that'll be fine. You can do that there. Research complete. Awesome. We've got the solar panel. Nice. Um, that means we want to get the utility pole. Uh, and the fuel generator done, but we, we need so much more f fundamental science for this, so. Okay. You get on and do that, this contract here. Uh, I said some of the later contracts are, like he wants us to supply something that's worth like 7,000 each, and it's like, you want 20 of them for 20,000? It's like, mm, that's a really bad contract. Why would you pick that? But hey-ho, um, that's just the way it sort of goes. Uh, I think everything seems good right now. So we need to get some power running. So I really, I really would like to get down to salvaging because then we can clear up uh, this stuff down here and I can put the solar panels in. I kind of want to put the solar panels... You're doing a great job, Director. Execute the next contract on time and I will personally pay for Ms. Vance's therapist. It's about time, considering you're one of the main reasons to visit him. Director, <laughs> Crust has sent us an additional set of drones, which will allow us to expand production even further. Treat them with caution. They are an extremely rare and valuable resource. Okay, so we've got some more uh, drones coming in. So they send us two drones. Awesome. Click this and click here. Drop the drones down. Nice, nice, nice. Contract complete, contract complete. We're wasting science, so we're wasting our engineering once again. Um comes annoying that I don't really like we've done the engineering we've done the engineering there smart concrete factory let's um put that in there and start filling that one up um but you you kind of get to a point where it's like I can't actually do any more engineering science because I've done it all because I said a lot of the early contracts tend to give you engineering bonuses which is nice but <laughs> Do me some more fundamental ones in between that um and even some social and you need to balance it you need to balance the thing to get um to get the science balanced correctly to get the science um done correctly so okay okay so where are we doing we need um daytime has just arrived we really need to get some stuff going however we're out of silicon that's a bit of a problem 
Um, how can we do this? How can we do this? Uh, what I'd like to do is I would like to put in the solar panels here as close to this edge as possible. So if we come out a little bit, oh, come out a little bit uh, there, that's the edge we can build solar panels. If we come down, but it turns bad here. So that means we have to then come out a little bit more because of the edge. So that's technically the edge where we can put the solar panels in is there. Now space kind of is a premium. Um, if for underground we build to the right, build all our manufacturing and stuff and go right, then that would be better for us because then we can send things up via elevators later for the lift and things. So for the, uh, yeah, so so this is where I want to build the, um, power. I was tempted to put the power like down here, like right down here with the river, we can put it down the lowest down here and just build the solar, solar panels down here out the way, just miles away um, and run a power line up. I think that would work for us. Um, if I grab this here and I, well, the, um, the elevator in the way, but I think we can go like this way and then come down Problem is I can't build here because we need to salvage things. So I need to get salvage before we can do anything like that. And then we'll come down here and I put the stuff down here. We also have um, resources available, which we can salvage. These are just on the moon. You can just pick up this rocks and things. Um, so we can salvage those and get more stuff from there. So that would work for us pretty well, I think. I think, we'll do I think I'm gonna put the solar panel away from the base. Normally I put it above directly here. Um, and then what happens is underground, I end up digging out this area here and you can't send anything you can't do anything above uh you get a elevator which allows you to send conveyor belts up and down the problem to that is that if you build solar panels above yourself you then can't build up and over here on the left hand side you can't do anything because there's a mountain here and you can't build here you're not allowed to build here so you only really have up to about there and along um, and then to about here somewhere down and then you've got this here which you can't build around so you've got that so you don't have that much space on the surface because of this thing here i don't quite know why they would have put the elevator there and not put it like here which is more central to the area you do but may about that you go anywhere anyway so it's not really a big deal okay so um we could we have no other contract that's popped up just yet so that's fine i might build a couple of the large solar panels just to get ourselves um a bit of a boost power research complete just so we can fill the batteries that um are all our batteries connected one two three four five six seven eight we have 80 yes so I think we'll, we'll do that just to, to get a boost pack so our batteries actually do charge because they're not charging enough during the uh thing we do need to get more batteries we need 136 so we're going to need more batteries anyway so let's dump some more batteries in here as well shall we um do, again not afraid to put loads in because um we are uh, We get the resources back when we demol demolish them we get all the 100 percent of the resources back so that's cool there is an issue with the way i'm doing things here now um uh, obviously buildings require maintenance they require they, they, they break down over time and shut down when they break down they stop transmitting power through themselves so i have this big long line here which comes down to here and comes along to here and then comes down if this solar panel stops working all of these all of this is no longer connected to the grid you want to make sure you have some form of redundancy connected between them somewhere so um you can have things like connected up between and and things like that as well uh i'm completely doing mad sort of dial wire stuff here so i'm gonna do that as well which is just over the top here we go here's some of the contracts here so they want 30 components uh for eighty thousand. okay i accept the component let's have a quick look here so 30 components for eighty thousand. how much is 30 components worth just as a quick test 13 components is worth 54. so that's not bad I know later you get some contracts that they want um like 60 modular frames or something um uh and they're and they're offering you like thirty thousand or something for it somewhere although but that's that might have been a previous thing so uh, we don't want to buy some components because we don't have enough to complete the contract so i'm going to buy some in and then we're going to come here 
and I'm going to accept the contract and go because I want to get it done as quickly as possible because the contract has 40 days to get a bonus to it. So um, we want to get the bonus and it's nice science as well. So the quicker we get it done, the quicker we get the science. Would you send this one down here? Okay. Dum -dum. Oh, there we we'll complete that contract on time. That'll be fine. At least they pop up and ask you now whether you want to do them. But uh, previously they used to just get accepted straight away. And some of them would just, as I said, ridiculous. Like, no, I never want to do that. That's that's dumb. So, um, yeah. Uh, all of these are requiring silicon, which we don't have. Should we buy some? The contract have been transferred to the account. Keep up the good work. Okay. Um, when you bring the command center up, it pauses the game in the background. Hence why the speech also stops working. Um, which is a good thing because you want the contract system paused because as I, as I explained before contracts sometimes have uh, I've got no contract show you but um, sometimes have like they're only available for three days if you're thinking about it whilst you're in here and the game is running the contract might expire whilst you're looking at it so it pauses the game in the background which is awesome um, let's buy some silicon in um, silicon's cheap let's get a whole pod of silicon 45,000 mm, yeah let's get a whole pod of silicon Boom, there you go. Run the power down here, that's fine. How are we doing for science? Um, oh, are we... Ah, salvage. Salvage, up, up to the top, please. Up to the top, salvage to the top. Salvage to the top. Go, 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 go. Get the salvage done. Awesome. Um, and then we can start salvaging things. Whoa. Guess you forgot their phone was on the desk. Um, don't know if we picked that up or not. Uh, uh so you're gonna get here so let's have a look see here and then i think we'll bring this episode to a close so go on science whoever do your thing objective achieved as i suspected the coordinates turned out to be quite approximate now for such cases the rover is equipped with the lps lunar proximity scanner it can detect even weak signals on the surface. Director, the Lunar Proximity Scanner emits a focused beam of electromagnetic waves. These waves propagate rapidly, covering the area around the scanner. When the waves encounter an object within the scanning zone, the LPS visualizes its location for the operator. If a hidden object is present in the outer scan radius, the LPS will indicate the route to the object. Oh, you know, Keith. When a hidden object is within the radius of the rover's inner circle, activating the LPS will accurately display its location. So, we want to scan the area, so we're going to do a little uh, hide and seek. Do, 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 do. And it is this way, so I normally just click just outside the circle and say move, and uh, let it go. And then once it's arrived at our destination, scan again. Um. Director, the ACIL Corporation needs materials for desalination stations. We can't leave the region without drinking water, can we? Okie dokie. So here, this this is one of the ones that's a bit of um, 250 steel. We have loads because we brought some. And uh, 20 components, we only have 8 for 70,000. Not too bad. But 250 steel, unless you brought it in at this stage of the game, you really wouldn't have produced it would be very difficult to produce that so uh, we'll accept the contract um i'm going to pause the game uh, come down here and do send the contract out doop and doop now this will not fit in a standard pod so we could upgrade to the larger pod but it would cost us 3800 if we send two of these it'll cost us 2400 right now we do want to do a bit of penny pinching so i'm just going to undo the components and i'm going to send that one and then we're going to send the components and we'll send that one and we need to buy in some more components because we haven't got enough and i don't think we're making enough because uh, well no, not 100 um let's buy in 20 components um we're not making enough because uh this guy is running at 15 percent efficiency so and it's not running at night time because it's not enough power so yeah um, our solar panels are running which is awesome hopefully they'll charge the batteries better than they were before we're really struggling for that so Okay, let's do a scan here. I'd like to get a scan done. Doop, doop, doop. Where are we? Ah, we found it. It's there. Ping. So we move here. Scan again. 
And there it is. Okay, so let's investigate this next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.